But in this video, we're gonna talk about where it just keeps on going and going and going, right? So you wanna find the sum of all those terms, and it's geometric, you're multiplying by the same ratio to get to the next term. And so the formula we're gonna be using is this one over here, the sum of an infinite geometric series equals a sub one over one minus r. Now this doesn't work for finite, it's only for infinite, and you have to make sure that the ratio the absolute value of the ratio is less than one, or you could also state it as the ratio has to be in between negative one and positive one. Uh, otherwise, if the ratio was two, like say for example it was four, then eight, then 16, then 32, then 64, you can see it's just gonna keep getting larger, larger, larger. That's what we call a divergent okay, series, meaning it's going to infinity or to negative infinity. Uh, what we wanna do is we want it to be convergent. Say for example, you're multiplying by a third, like you know, 90 times a third is 30, and then 30 times a third is 10, and then 10 thirds and 10 ninths, and it's getting smaller and smaller, approaching zero. You can sum up all those terms and find out what that sum is as the number of terms approaches infinity, right? So what we're gonna do in this one, as we're gonna look at a couple examples, we're gonna start off with 100, and the next term is 50, 25, 12.5. So what are we multiplying by to get to the next term in this series? Well, 50 divided by 100 is 1 half, 25 divided by 50 is 1 half, so you just take the term divided by the one before it to find the ratio. And so we're gonna use this formula. The first term is 100, okay, one minus the ratio, which we said was a half, and it meets our requirements that it's less than one, okay, it's in between negative one and positive one, so it's gonna converge. You can see this is getting smaller and smaller, it's approaching zero. So what we get for our sum, our infinite sum is, 100 divided by a half. Okay, when you divide by a fraction, it's like multiplying by the reciprocal. So the sum of all these terms, they're gonna add up to 200. And you can kind of see that. This is 150, then 175, 187.5, and it's just slower, slower, slower. It's gradually approaching the 200 mark. Okay, let's look at another example. Let's look at this one here. Here, we've got 27 eighths plus 9 fourths plus 3 halves. What are we multiplying by to get to the next term here? This is a little bit more challenging because of the fractions, but again, what you can do is you can take any term and divide it by the previous term, so 9 fourths divided by 27 eighths. When you divide by a fraction, it's like multiplying by the reciprocal, okay? So I just flip that over. We're gonna do some reducing. Okay, it looks like it's 2 thirds. Let's check another uh, term, 3 halves divided by five, uh, 9 fourths. 3 halves divided by 9 fourths. When you divide, it's like multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, so this we can reduce, this we can reduce. Looks like we're getting two thirds again, and two thirds meets our requirement of being in between negative one and one. That means that this is gonna be getting smaller, smaller, smaller. It's gonna be approaching zero, and we can add up all the terms. So let's go ahead and use our formula, the sum of an infinite geometric series. It's the first term, which is 27 eighths, divided by one minus the ratio, which we found out was two thirds. Do a little bit of arithmetic here. We've got 27 eighths divided by one minus two thirds is one third. When we divide by a fraction, it's like multiplying by the reciprocal. We get 81 eighths. That's an exact answer. That's the sum.